healing ranges is one of the most powerful concepts in trading but you guys have been using them wrong not only am i going to explain what is a dealing range but how to use it effectively to improve your trading and finding direction in the marketplace make sure you guys watch to the end of this video lots of gems will be given out before we get into the video make sure you guys are following me on instagram lots of free education on the market maker model as well as this is where you guys can reach me if you guys have any questions or want to talk to me direct all right back to the video so looking at this visual here a dealing range is when price action takes out both buy side and sell side liquidity from that high to low is our dealing range so price action has came up higher took out this liquidity pool came lower and then taken out this liquidity pool for so from this high to this low this would then classify as our dealing range below the dealing range in a bullish scenario is your discount and above the dealing range in a bearish scenario is your premium the best longs are in a discount and the best shorts are in a premium so above the dealing range above the 50 percent level of the dealing range here from high to low this would then be our premium and below here would then be our discount the best longs would be down here in this red shaded area below the 50 percent level and the best shorts would be up here in this green shaded area above the 50 percent level focus most importantly on where the algo is pointing to somewhere in price action that is giving you a narrative for higher and lower prices a lot of your mentors or someone you guys probably listen to have probably told you every single time that you get a high or a low anchor your dealing range and then sell above the 50 percent or if you guys get a low to a high in a dealing range sell below the 50 percent without focusing on narrative and this is what i want to get into to make sure you guys are doing this the right way so coming into the market here in this depiction we can clearly see that we have that high that we have swept as well as that low that we have swept and then we have from the high to low if you guys were to take a guess would you guys take a short in this direction or would you guys take a long i'll give you guys some time the best answer was long right even though right your mentor or someone i've told you oh we have a high here and we have a low here right it came back up above 50 percent we're inside this order block i should then be taking a short no you're wrong and let me explain you're not focusing on narrative and order flow inside of the marketplace we've came from these highs and then we've dropped down into these lows and then we broke structure to the upside i'm not going to look for shorts in this direction because we are pushing higher the algorithm is pushing higher if we go down to a lower time frame here we can clearly see that we have a support level which is this rejection block price action dropped down from these highs into this rejection block which is a support level we broke above this bearish fair value gap then we broke above this fair share value gap why would you then take shorts inside of the marketplace when price action is clearly respecting bullish pd arrays when we tap into a support level and then we start breaking above bearish pd arrays that is not a good signature and price action to then continue to look for shorts because the overall narrative inside of the marketplace has now shifted yes if you took shorts up here at these levels the shorts would have been fine but as soon as we tapped into this support level and then the change in state of direction of the marketplace has shifted meaning we tapped into this bullish level and then we changed course changing course from bearish to now bullish i'm not looking at these bearish pd arrays as an area to go short in I'm now looking at these bullish PD arrays for price action to pull back into for me to then capitalize on the long opportunity for that continuation to the upside. So coming into the M15 time frame, I'm looking at price action here and I'm building my bias. So we can clearly see that we have came up higher, took out this liquidity pool. Then we came lower, took out this liquidity pool, tapped into a support level, which then gave price action the break to the upside, breaking above 
this bearish fair value gap. It's important to note when price action is bullish, it will break above bearish levels. When price action is bearish, it will break below bullish levels. So seeing price action finding support here at this area and then breaking above this bearish PD array, I'm not then looking to take shorts inside of the marketplace. I'm looking to then take longs and capitalize on these longs targeting opposing liquidity. We have this liquidity pool up here and then we have this liquidity pool up here. So I'm looking for price action to see that pullback into below 50% of this dealing range inside of these lower quadrants to then anticipate the continuation to the upside into these liquidity pools, right? Because as price action came lower and tapped into the support level and then left it, I'm now categorizing this low as a strong low and price action should not want to revisit this low, but instead capitalize and take out these highs. So coming into the marketplace here, 50% or below, we have this inversion fair value gap. I'm going to put my 50% line. So when price action comes down into this 50% line, stop loss below this low, take profit up here for a two to one R. This is the trade idea I would then be looking for inside of the marketplace. And let's see what happens. We come down into that inversion fair value gap, and then we break to the upside back above this liquidity pool, right? Because I'm understanding narrative inside of the marketplace. Instead of price action uh, creates this dealing range, it's pulling back and, you know, go short here. If you would have went short here, you would have lost. And this is where a lot of traders lose. They're not focusing on the narrative and overall order flow of the marketplace and forming a bias rather than rather than understanding the narrative of the algorithm and where price is seeking to. Coming to the next chart here from what you guys learned from the last depiction, where would you guys anticipate price action to go higher or lower? Obviously, it would go higher. Why would that be, Arkham? Because price action has came lower here and tapped into this bullish order block. It has came lower and tapped into a support level. It's understanding where is the algorithm most likely wanting to seek higher or lower prices. Obviously, we came higher, took out these highs. Then we came lower, took out these lows, right? From this high to this low then creates our dealing range. Now it's important to understand where is the marketplace most likely in favor of seeing price action, finding respect at a bullish PD array at a support level. So when drawing out our dealing range and we're anticipating either going long or short, we have to understand where is the algorithm most favorable for. So seeing price action come down into the support level and then leave it, that's telling us that the algorithm is more in favor of higher prices than lower prices. So I can then target these highs and any high that is above that, maybe these highs as well as areas of liquidity that we can anticipate the market to reach up into. So coming down into the M5 time frame here, I'm looking for anywhere in price action below the 50% level that we can then capitalize on longs inside of a discount. And in this situation, we do have this bullish order block. I'm going to mark this order blocks 50% level here. And if we can see price action come down into the 50% of this bullish order block, I would then take longs here, targeting first these highs, take some profit, and then reaching up into those higher highs up here. So let's see how this would then play out. Price action comes down into that 50% level, tags us in perfectly, comes back down into that 50% level once again, third time's a charm before we then start seeing that push to the upside into that second liquidity pool, take profit one hit, as well as take profit two then hit. Because we understand narrative, we understand price action is more favorable toward these upside, right? And then we draw out our dealing range. Any PD arrays below that 50% level, we're then looking at a discount to then capitalize on the longs. 
so that's going to be it for the video i hope i was able to give you guys enough information for you guys to really lock this in as well as comment in the description any questions that you may have and i will get to answering that's it for the video i'm markham be safe I have recently launched my private mentorship here. First, we have the Market Maker Mastery for $15 a month, which gives you guys access to the Market Maker course, access to my pre-market analysis, post-market analysis, as well as trade breakdowns around the Market Maker model, as well as a private community for all members. Then we have the Academy here, which gives you guys access to beginner and advanced lessons, pre-market analysis, live trading, post-market analysis, and trade breakdowns as well. And you guys get access to my live trading for Forex and the index markets every single morning. Plus, we have psychology lessons and my full risk management and trade management plan. Then we have access to all my market maker models and daily teachings of the market maker model. Then again, with the market maker mastery, you guys do get access to the private community. Last but, last but not least, we do have access to the Arkham C at the table, which is weekly Zoom calls, answering your questions, backtesting with members, forecasting the marketplace, as well as psychology podcasts and teachings, advanced topics not taught anywhere else, learned from me, as well as this is only limited to 50 members. If that's something you guys are interested in, it'll be the first link in bio, as well as it'll be the first link in my Instagram bio as well. All right.